there was no oh my daughter in the dream you shall help him carry water no no none of that no why are you shaking the old place like this now <laughs> is what i love love small Welcome to Hanging Out with Made by Old Fresh. So today I'm going to be taking a trip to the Dedeke's place and uh, I want to hear their story and I hope you guys learn one or two things from it. I heard this couple has plenty vibes and that their story is out of this world. So this is going to be a really long one. That's why I call it the master class of working with your spouse. If there's anything like that. Yeah. So if you guys are ready, let's go. I, I well, I'm not sure if everybody is cut out for marriage. So, number one, you can be like Paul and decide not to marry. No, it's allowed. It's allowed. It's allowed. You can decide not to marry. But the fact that you're married doesn't mean that your life as an individual is over. It's two people coming together to share their life's journey together. And while in that journey, they may or may not have other individuals coming in to complete to continue that journey meaning they may or may not have biological children or whatever but it's not a matter of so we have sex and then that's finished or more it are not finished he's just starting <laughs> he's just starting because before when you go out you hold the key of your house like this you have gone you come back anytime you like but then it changes because then you want to make a decision and the decision is not just binding on you. You have somebody else to think about. You want to spend 50k on this pair of shoes and you're thinking, wait a minute. If I, spend, if I spend 50k on these shoes, what am I going to give my wife to cook for the next you know, month or the next couple of weeks? And then you're thinking, no, but I want us to get a car. So if I save towards the... It, 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 <laughs> yeah. It's not an easy journey. Even as a single person, the journey is tough. As a married person, trust me, it's tougher because there are two of you with your ideals, with your ideas, with your temperament, with everything. You are trying to make it work. And you are trying to say, okay, we want to do life together. I'm choosing to do life with you. There is no part of doing life that is boring. So of course, then having to do life with a, maybe a super conservative person like my husband and a, a more liberal person like me. If not for my profession, I probably have dyed my hair like orange. Mm -hmm. but, <laughs> but you know, he's very conservative. Before I could even oh, before I could even do my look, he had to take a lot of. But think about it. Think and work. Think and like this. It's not as if I'm crazy now. I'm not. Good. I'm not crazy. It's like this, it's like this. You know, things that normally you just do on your own and nobody will send you. You start preferring the other person in love. And then taking care of your children. You are just saying, take it. we just take care of children. Even taking care of children is a full-time job. Then imagine that you want to do that. You have one kid or you have two kids. And then you have a job. And then you want to build a career. You guys want to build a house. You want to go on holidays together. You want to make memories together. You are going to fight. You are going to make up. You are going to have fun. You are going to almost hate one another. Trust me, it's a lot to do in marriage. A whole lot. Okay. Well, our first meeting was normal. It was casual. <laughs> <laughs> We were in the same fellowship in school. I was a year ahead of her. So I was in the choir and then here comes this new member of the choir. Okay, so of course now, what daddy love her, everybody The meeting, there are many meetings. <laughs> but um the meeting that led to meeting Gogo. Um, yes, we're in the same fellowship, um, both in the choir, but the, I think the, the major thing was that was a, <laughs> that was a night we were returning from fellowship. I think we missed the bus and um, he and his roommate, um, because we're all in ABH, we had crossed over to ABH. It was after I crossed over to UCH now. 
In the other meeting, you were a member of fellowship, you used to play keyboard. Well, quite, we met plenty of times now. But the proper meeting that I was something in the offing, you were always coming to greet me in a beach. And I had to ask, is this how you used to greet everybody? Say you are all pastor. If you spend like one hour in everybody's room, you will not get work done. Before, before then, I prayed to God to help me. Because I got on a place in my life where you know you meet a lot of sisters, you know, in camp on campus and all, and you know, and then you go asking the question, is this with me? So I got to a point where I just said, Lord, this is too much for me. I cannot do this. I cannot do this. And I just got to a place where I said and I came to realizing that God's choice was the best and I can't do better than God. So I just surrendered everything. You know? Even though in my mind, uh, I always wanted to add this dream list in that sense. And uh, when it came to her, um, in fact, the first time I, I met her, what I got, the vibe I got from her was that she was very hard and very hey, strict. Hey, hey, yeah, okay. So yeah. I was already like, yeah, okay. you began to, <laughs> you know, I didn't want to allow for my life. But when I got close and I saw it wasn't so, and we gelled, you know, it now shocked me that, ah, you know, you don't see someone from afar and you, you can just make a mistake and make the wrong assumption, really. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What I hear is that he, I was a challenging somebody. It was my challenge that you needed grace for to be able to. Is, is that what you are saying? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that I've, in retrospect, I realized that because we are not perfect, we are both not perfect. I just found out that I think you know, there's a way we always have to Revelation. Yes. And I now realize that. When God gives you a partner, He gives you someone that can help you. And that help is with your imperfection, with your issue. So that's the completing part. So the wrong idea that I too thought then was that like, I perfect marriage, perfect person, you know, sister that will pray for me while I'm in the forefront. <laughs> so, so just be not. <laughs> but I've come to realize the greater beauty in growing together, changing together, you know, learning together. Um, I, for, for me, there were a few things that um, that I kind of knew about the person. I kind of knew the person would be musically inclined and would play an instrument. But you see, that is kind of very vague. Uh, and so I tried to avoid a lot of the musicians. I deliberately went out of my way to avoid them because I did not want to be too unsure. But then there was this cool, quiet dude, and in my mind I was thinking, "Things are going well." Okay, I don't have time. I don't have time for this. I was hard now. Was I not hard looking? I actually, I, I generally tend to push people away. <laughs> but um, he. He kept doing this house, uh, hotel hall pastor, the uh, BH hall pastor thing. I kept coming around. And the first couple of times, it, it was like, really, you're here again? <laughs> bye bye. I won't lie now. Yeah, by the third time, I was like, it became a welcome presence. Like, ah, finally, he has come. And then the day he doesn't come, like, I did you watch her. <laughs> <coughs> so, and then we got talking and it just, it was easy. But I, for me, I had hurdles to cross for myself. And I was thinking like, oh, where is Sibo boy in know you? You know, I can go, somebody saw me. He say, this is what you want. And I think that was the day I actually asked him, dude, you've been coming here very consistently and spending over an hour. Is this what you do with all your, all your, uh, all people? It's not possible, so let me know exactly why you are coming. So I think I gave him a little nudge for him to very spiritually kind of quote his kind of, oh, like, okay, all right, I'm that. I don't do boyfriend, girlfriend, let me just tell you now. Don't come here and want to do, let's see if you, mm -mm. if you are not sure, be going. 
And I, I remember telling if you are looking for Lepa, my skeleton cannot be Lepa. So don't come and get to the future and be saying, you are not Lepa again. Mm -mm. This is me, you have seen it, and I can only get bigger than this. So, yeah, I think it was just a, a comfort and a, a settling, a peace, yes. There was no, oh, my daughter in the dream, you shall help him carry water. No, no, none of that. No. Why are you shaking the old place like this now? Laughs, laughs, small, small. Small, small. Answer the question, how long have we married? 16 years. How can you say 16 years sharp? My. Oh. It's 16 now. It's going to just going to be 17. Daughter is 16 years. And we are married before we born child. It's November for born, February we married. So it's going on 17. It's counting. It's going on 17. So 17 this February. Oh, hey. <laughs> if you have not feel like that, you have not married. You will marry. <laughs> Anybody that says no, I don't feel like that is lying. Oh, oh, oh. For me, yes. Maybe for me. me in, uh... Eh? Don't lie. We are, God is here. Yes, no. uh, for me, yes, yo. Yes. God brought me to that place where I now realize that see, a lifetime is not enough to know this person. So every day there's something new I need to learn. So that has really prepared me for you know shortcomings and all that. Because I now realize that the times I get uh, upset is when I second guess. I assume I know already and I expect her to do this. But when I now had this mind that see, I'm just in this person. Today, when I feel this way, I'll learn it. I'll get better. And that really has helped me. Ah, uh, that, that. <laughs> so, boy, you are you married know? now. You know <laughs> now that we correct. That is yeah, that no ma. The evidence of interaction. Correct. It is the evidence of interaction. But how then, do we say to? How do you say to? You talk about it, man. So I think what, what one thing that helps us with quarrels and settling it is having the foundation that I love you, you love me. So uh, our quarrels is based on my opinion, your opinion. But that does not touch I don't love you. I, well, when you say interference, it sounds like something unwanted. Um, I think um, for most people, usually when it comes to family, that's for most people. And um, I think earlier on, I, I let him know that he has to deal with his side of the family while I deal with my side of the family. Because if we cross to the other side, then we'll have a disaster. So when there are, and there are very few times when that, those things come up because um, I, for one, believe that um, families would always be biased towards their own um, person. So if I go to my family and say my husband did A, B, C, D, E, they're going to side with me very readily because the way I will paint it, even if it's my fault, will be that he's at fault and if he does the same thing. So we're just going to go up in arms. Um, so for the most part, I don't really tell my family stuff and I, I don't think mm, you know. Yeah. So we, we tend to I keep... I think that has helped me. Yeah. <clears throat> don't share. From the word go, we decided that um, I would rather talk to my pastor if we get to a point where uh, I think we need a third person intervention. But even then, it gets to a point where you're thinking, you know what, no matter how many people you involve, it's between the two of you. If the two of you don't work it out, it's not going to get worked out, so... Yeah. We do... We do good cup, bad cup. Which good cup, bad we cup? Who is supposed to be hand, the... soft hand. Bad cup is bad cup. Nobody is shy right now. <laughs> so, so... When it comes to parenting, there are many aspects. There is emotional, financial, physical, there are just so many aspects. And there are things that your female child is very unlikely to tell the father. 
In fact, I think that she's unlikely to tell anybody, but being intuitive, you'll be able to pick up certain um, nuances and then um, you know, sometimes you have hypothetical scenarios and you just pretend that you know that those hypothetical scenarios are hypothetical. But when you are, you know, when you are having the exchange, you are trying to think in your mind, which one of these is she? Which one? Which one is having girl? This hypothetical mm -hmm. scenario. Mm -hmm. And then it could be about a month later, two weeks later, and she goes, "Remember the hypothetical scenario?" Uh huh. That was me. I'm like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I thought so. Hey, why didn't you say anything? That should But at least give the opportunity for your children to be able to talk to you as a friend as much as possible don't as they grow older you know they'll keep stuff away from you they want to believe that the training and the prayers and the um, communication you've had with them as they were growing up will help them um, along the way and there's something that i'll have to discuss with her dad and say um, you can't have that discussion with her that we have to have this discussion and so I'll approach it from here. But usually most of the things that I do is what we, we will do. That I may be the one you see doing it or the one she sees doing it. But most of the time my father is also aware of it. A couple come to mind, but the greatest would be in 2020 when I left my um, lecturing job at the University of Lagos. I've been in Lagos for five plus years. I was shuttling and um, he was a single dad because I was a weekend wife. And so a lot of things fell to him. But like we're talking about parenting things, um, me being away, not fully on ground, um, had it impact it wasn't good for the family <clears throat> excuse me it wasn't good for my health I, I don't think it was generally it was generally not very uh, anyway uh, I, I think uh, two years prior to that i already told him i'm tired I, I can't keep doing this i i want to resign i want to resign um, because you know, if i resign there will become a one income family kind of things are like. But um, I think COVID was just a God just ordained everything. It's perfect timing. I I yeah, I had to leave. I didn't have a job waiting or what I would um, readily get myself into when I did that. But um, I knew that I had to be at home. I had a daughter to raise, I had a husband to deal with. Most especially, actually, was mainly for my daughter because she was getting, um, you know, those were her preteen, getting into teenage years, and she needed a lot of stability. So when she voiced for the first time that she needed me around, that was just it. I, I couldn't um, dilly dally any longer. Just had to do it. Tough one, but I had to do it. Yeah, oh hell no. <laughs> no. Because you see the last two years, she's in school now. The last two years, um, I got we got caught up on our cuddles, we got caught up on we caught up on our um, mommy daughter time. We got, I got to know a lot of things that she was going through, we were able to work through them, we were able to make um, good decisions. No, 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 no. For, for if for that alone and being able to be around during COVID and everything, you know, if I had to take that decision again, I'll take it in a shorter time. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you not doing me? <laughs> a key. Uh, I'm, I don't know if there is a, a, just one key. That is, it's a huge, but what he said that was very thought provoking was that he said he put me first in, 
and for him it made a whole lot of difference. And I actually think if we put the other person first, if we if each person puts the other person first, I think that marriages would would actually grow and be better because and <clears throat> I must say it's, it's not the easiest of things. Let's not assume that in every situation he puts me first. <laughs> he yeah, but, is, yeah. but largely, I understand what he's trying to say. If there is a situation and you both want to put each other first, then it's almost like competing to walk in love with, towards each other. Yeah. And if we can all do that, walk in love towards each other, I think, I, I, I think that's just it, really, quite honestly. You can walk in love towards each other. Yeah, that was what I was going to say. So I think if there's one key, the love of God, cultivating that between each other, and that even fortifies us going to share with others. Yeah, I think that was it. Actually, I think for the fact that we're both born again, my yeah. Benicio. Um, I got born again in secondary school, so by the time we were in university, uh -huh, we, we were born again and then we were in the same fellowship, so we kind of had similar teachings on um, working, working the word, um, on trusting God, on walking in love and stuff like that. And quite honestly, God has always been the the core, the center. It, as in, there is no decision we take per se that we don't run it through the the, the core. That's I don't know how long because that's where we draw our energy from. That's where we draw our strength from. That's where we draw our inspiration from. When we are fighting, I want to settle that. You know. That's everything. It, that's really it. And that's why sometimes um, if you come from the same kind of background, same, well, correct doctrine. I don't want to just say doctrine. But if, the, if Christ is the center of it, and God is the center of it, God's agape love being the center, I think with that we can actually overcome anything but sometimes we'll be like in vcf when we're in school can i remember this message or can i remember this or can i remember that song so we've come a long way together i've known him practically all my adult life really yeah practically practically all my all my adult life so yeah 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 i think that's it so much preparation you can do no matter how long, because there are so many uncertainties. You don't even know how long the matter reminds you. There is a lot of uncertainty. So it's not something you can prepare for. Like people you know claim that ah, you know, you can read up, do this. No. But I can promise you, marriage with God leading and teacher to the work.
انت عايز تقول ولا لا هو اسمه نيجي موسيم ايم ايم ايه 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 <laughs> okay, so that's it guys. I don't think I have anything to add to this. This guy has so much to say. I mean, I warned you earlier, I said it's going to be a long video and you found out it's a long video. So yeah, and uh, I just hope that you learned something. So if you learned something, please put it in the comment section. I want to know the high moment for you. What, what was one thing they said that struck you, okay? That's going to change everything about you. Hit the comment section. I want to hear from you. All right. Okay, so this is made by Ofresh YouTube channel. Are you subscribed? Are you subscribed? Uh uh, why now? Subscribe now. Push the subscribe like this. Pam, pam. Push the subscribe button. Okay, so when you do that, you help my um, channel. Put a like, put a comment. All of these things will make it to rank well. And then other people will get to see the videos. Not only are you pushing my channel, but you're also blessing someone else. So please do that. I beg you, please, please subscribe, like, and then share. On this channel is a whole lot of stuff. I have fake-based movies that will bless your life so much. You just have to watch them, honestly. Sometimes until you've seen these things, you will know how good they are. So get into the channel, okay? After getting into the channel and watch all kinds of movies that I've made all for free. And the good thing about all of these movies is that most of them, all of them are shot using just a smartphone. Can you beat that? Okay, so go find me on the major social media platforms by just searching for Made by Ofresh. I'm there and I'm willing to connect with you. Okay, let's build the community of faith-based stuff, content together. All right? Yeah. So, you know, I've told you, I said, I'm just going to be dropping this video as it comes. Okay? Um, I'm hopeful that I'm going to be dropping one very soon again. So, guys, every time you see the video, please just like and share. It's not a rat race, basically. It's just a race to, it's, a, it's an avenue to bless people. So, please, I want you to, as you're blessed with these videos, please share with some other persons, okay? Please, please, please. Okay, so, guys, that's it for this one. And um, see you in the next one.